Hey y'all, Ron here. I thought we'd do something a little different today. I thought this might be fun. Anyway, we've got some new stuff in the store and um, I just thought this would be a lot of fun. So I have some carved square coasters. These are by Dress My Craft um, out of India and they're actually made in India. Probably made in India. Um, and so these are MDF and we have some chalk paint and also dress my craft we have some transfer me these are little transfer sheets and um of course they're backwards because you're gonna flip them around um so here is some tape some measuring tape kind of grungy flowers beautiful flowers and some words like little advertisement kind of things and um, I've never done this before. Uh, I have an idea, but they do have instructions, steps of transfer application. Um, but first, we do need to paint the coasters um, because you want a surface on it. You don't want to use acrylic paint because you don't want it slick. So hence, we're using the chalk paint. So we need to paint those and let them dry before we break into these. Let me grab let me do this. Reuse. I've got an avalanche over here. Okay, well I hope everybody's doing well. But yeah, for some reason I'm getting a little hoarse here. So I don't know what that's all about. Oh, I hate these that you can't open. That I can't open. Why can't I open them? Open says me. Where's my little spatula? Okay. Anyway, we have been so busy at the shop. Ugh, really? Okay. I can't even open them this way. Something wrong here with me. Okay, there we go. Good Lord. Anyway, let me adjust you a little bit there. Uh, we've had a double retreat going on. I mean, back-to-back -back retreat retreats and we have been busy all right so here's some little mdf with some little schmutz on there get off there all right so we have four like a little mdf a little paper something on there all right so let's just paint a little bit i bet you this has a oh my goodness where's my other has a little plastic on there and don't do this towards your hand because if you slip you're going to slit your hand slit your wrist so don't be doing that shame 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 all right now i bet this has oh it doesn't i thought it'd have a little safety thing on there but it doesn't okay so let's i don't know how much how this is going to cover so let's just spooch out a little bit there this is, I think this is like cream or something. The color, it's not white, white. No, oh, it's more of a creamy cream. All right, so let's, I don't know if we'll have to give this one coat or two. May just depend on what the look you're going for. Looks like it covers pretty good. But and probably if you put this on with a sponge or a little dauber or something or another, um, you won't have the lines in there. But I think we're going to go over this twice. Do we want to do the sides? Well, I guess we're going to because I got paint on them. I meant to do that anyway, right? All right. So I'm going to do the other ones. This is drying pretty fast. I don't know if you can see that, but it's drying pretty doggone fast. All right. I'm going to do the other ones and let them dry really well. And through the magic of videos, I'll be right back. Abracadabra. They're painted and dry. <laughs> okay. Well, and you notice they're 
they're not you know shiny it's chalk paint so it has a chalkiness to it all right so I went ahead and cut some of these out just to be cutting them out and I actually found some more that I had um, there's some big butterflies little butterflies there's roses and clock faces so it's just about making a collage um, and you can layer these there are all kinds of things you can do with them all right so the instructions they want you to cut pretty close to the design okay because actually there's a film um, and, and it's going to be let me see Okay, if we were to leave all of this on there, there's going to be a film that's going to be this whole area. So that's why they say um, trim this pretty close. And you can also see a little better as to where it's going to go. Because if it's not trimmed out, excuse me, and you're going to place this down, well, you have a lot of room here, so it's not going to line up. You know, if you want it just right on the edge, you might get off, you know. So anyway, that's another reason why to trim trim it pretty close. Um, see, like this one, you want to trim all that off. All right. So what are we going to do? I'm thinking flowers. Let's add some more flowers over here. I think we should use a butterfly and a clock. Um, let's get a couple of clocks here and you just trim these and it's on a carrier sheet so it has this backing and then it has this plasticky part and the plasticky part is what you're going to uh, peel off to put it down where you want it and you don't want to touch it because you can actually lift the design with your finger Okay, and I would leave a, just a little bit. I'm going to trim this down, but I would leave just a little bit for you to hang on to. You don't want to trim it just right on there because your fingers will be on there and it'll be sticky once we pull this little plastic. Let me see. This little plastic carrier, once we pull that off, it's sticky under there. Okay. All right, so we have a couple of clocks. Do we want a big butterfly, a little butterfly, a medium butterfly? <clears throat> Let's see. I like the tape measures. Let's see how big this is. How about, <laughs> let's do a little pop of color. How about a blue one? Let's trim out this little guy here. And I'm anxious to see if I can do this on paper. I don't know if I can because you have to get it so wet. But believe me, I will try it. And I will let you know. All right, so we have this gorgeous butterfly. We're just gonna trim some of this away. Kinda of see where the antenna. Trim a little bit of this. Like I said, not, not a whole lot, just so you can kind of see the design outline. Okay. I'll just leave that on there. Okay. So let's kind of start. Now we haven't peeled anything off. We can kind of just lay this down. Just remember that it's going to be reverse. Let's trim this little piece off. All right, we'll just kind of get the composition down. Like I said, you can layer on top. Do we want this? Because that's actually going to be on that side. Because this will be all turned around, but. Um, and we want it right side up. So which is the right side? 13. Okay, so it'll be like that. Okay. Anyway, we'll just kind of, we're just gonna play a little bit. 
Let's see about a clock. I like that. Maybe another clock. Because like I said, you can layer these. And you can kind of change it as you go too. Okay, let's just kind of go with this. We know we want this down. And let me think, because the numbers, so that's gonna be 13, right? Yeah. So if we want it up, that's gonna to have to go like that. All right, that's okay, that's cool. All right, we don't need to really trim anything off. Okay, let's move these out of the way because we don't wanna get them wet. Okay, we got it. I'm gonna scoot you. Well, you can no, let me scoot you in a little bit. Let me scoot you down a little bit. High tech stuff here. Okay. All right. So with these, like I said, there is a carrier, a plastic carrier sheet. Okay. Now this is gonna come off like this. Okay. Now this under here is kind of sticky. I mean, it's not like real, real sticky, but it's a little sticky. All right, so let's lay that down. This is why we cut it close. So we kind of know where our design is. Lay this down and burnish it. Okay. Then we have our little mister here. A little fine mister. And not wanting to stick on there. Okay, get down there. Oh, where's my other one? That's why I have two of them. The other ones, I think, are were a little stickier. Okay, well, we're just going to go with it. Okay, and you really can't get it too wet. Gently. Push that down. Looks like some of it's coming up. Okay. And we're gonna get some of this excess, excess water off. We'll just blot it. We're not rubbing it. Blotting. We'll wait for that to kinda get on there. Okay, and then you should be able to gently start sliding the carrier off. Oh, is it coming off? Nope, it's not sticking. Hmm, this may be a dud. Who knows? I took the carrier off. It's plenty wet. No, it's not sticking. Hmm. Something's up with that. All right, let's try it again. Let's wipe some of that off. All right, let's try a different piece. All right, let's trim this off a little bit so we kind of see where it's going to go. That was kind of weird. Um... We'll just put this one right here. All right, so we're going to take the plastic carrier sheet off. Sometimes it's easier said than done. Oh, it looks like that's coming off. That is. That's weird. Something must go. I don't know what's going on here. And that's not supposed to happen. That stickiness. Hmm. Let me try one of these clocks. Okay, just hang with me here. We're learning together. All right. Okay, see this one just came right off and that's sticky. So, something's weird on that one. Okay, we've got to see which way we're going to have the clock. Does it really even matter? Okay, let me try another piece of carrier sheet. 
Okay, where did you go? Oh, right here. Let's try some. I mean, maybe it got hot. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe something weird. Let's pick out one. Okay, that butterfly. And the clocks. Okay, let's just do... That's kind of weird. Let's do this one. I'm just cutting around here. All right. So we're going to put this one right here. Okay, let's try to see if this one's going to do it. Okay, nope, this one's this one's coming off. And it's sticky and there's nothing left on this. Okay. That was strange. Okay, so let's put this down. And once it's down, it's down. Okay. See that other one wasn't sticking like this, so that's why I couldn't figure out what the deal was, because this is I mean it's like stuck. Okay, let me move this back. All right, so I give that a good rub. Let's try this again. Do I have water in this one? Yeah, I think. All right, so we're going to give it a good squirt. You kind of see how it's coming together there. Okay, make sure you got it all good and wet. I don't really think you can get too much water, but, I mean, you don't want to, like, drown it. But that is pretty wet, okay. And I kind of rub it down a little again, a little again, <laughs> a little bit again, and you can kind of see what it's doing, okay. And then I'm gonna take my little rag here, and I'm just gonna press. I'm not rubbing. I'm not trying to do anything. I'm just getting some of the excess water off. All right. I'm gonna wait just a second. And then you should be able to start sliding this carrier sheet off. Maybe. Or pull it off like that. <laughs> da da! That's what it looks like. And you can kind of see the shiny around there. That's why I said you need to trim it, you know, you don't have to trim it real close, but you don't want to leave a whole lot on there. But you see the shiny, that's just part of it. All right, so I'm gonna gently get some of this water off. And it's not dry. And like I said, don't rub, just straight down and straight up. All right, what next? Okay, let's do a clock. And then I think we'll do the butterfly on top. And does it really matter if we put the clock in the right direction? Nah, we're being artsy. Okay, let me see if this is gonna, okay. That's sticky. We're gently pulling this off. And like I said, there's no residue or anything on there. Don't touch the design. And let's just lay that right there. Burnish it a little bit. My hands look red. <laughs> Must be the camera because they're really not that red. All right. And let's wet this and watch the magic happen. You want to make sure because you can see if it's not wet, like their little area right there. I mean, it'll kind of seep in there. So, okay, that's what it looks like. See, it's pretty wet. And then we're going to take some of this off. Like this. I think this is a lot of fun. I'm loving this. All right. Let's see. Like I said, you can either slide it. Maybe. Or... Grab you a corner. 
and see if it'll let you. There we go. Looky there, another one. Oh, I'm so excited. All right. Let's get some more of this water off. And let's do another clock. So we have one that's kind of different than that one. Um, um, let's look. Are there any? No, they're kind of. Okay, let's just go with this one. All right, let's take some of this extra off. All right, and take. Okay, I feel the, oops, I feel the sticky. No residue on there. And we can overlap these. And remember, once it's down, you can't pick this up and go, oops, I'm going to scoot it over a little bit. Nope, it is down. Okay, if they get a little bubble in it, it's fine, just gently, because we're actually going to Mod Podge over this. Okay, water, water. These are great little misters, but they don't hold a lot. Okay, make sure it's all wet, nice and wet. Okay, let it set for just a minute. Get a little bit of that water off. And... Are we going to do it? Gently remove. Yes, please. Okay, gently remove the water. All right, one more. This is what it's looking like. Now we're going to put Mr. Butterfly right in the middle. All right, Mr. Butterfly, let's cooperate here. I had you. Okay, that's good and sticky. No residue. Not touching the design. We're just going to put him right here in the middle. And be careful and don't rub this because like I said, it's still, still wet. You just want to rub on the back of this carrier sheet. All right. And let's wet. Do we have enough water? The butterfly is emerging. Look at that. It's like magic. Make sure we get it all good and wet. Because if it's not all wet, you know, you're when you start to pull it up, it's going to leave a hunk out. Okay. Make sure we get all that water off. Okay, here we go. Da da! I get a little more of that water off. Gently, gently. I like that. That's pretty. Did you hear the puppies? They're guarding the kingdom again. I like that. We could even put another little butterfly right there. Let's do that real quick. Let's do a little one. What color? What color? What color? How about orange? Because there's a little orangey red there. This is, oh, I'm loving this. You know, these would make great Christmas presents too. it really doesn't take long at all that paint that chalk paint dries really fast and um, just put that one like that and uh, okay there, I don't know if I got the other ones wet or what <clears throat> let's see what we say we're gonna go this way with him um, but anyway so the chalk paint Add your little pretties, and then we're gonna mod mod podge. I never can say that right. Mod mod podge mod podge over it, and then I would probably if you're really gonna use them for coasters. 
I would probably hit them with some, um, like, what is it, polyurethane or something uh, to make them water, you know, really make them waterproof. Am I going to slide? No, I don't want to slide. I like it. All right, let's get some more of this water off. <clears throat> All right. What do you think? I'm loving it. All right. Then, like I said, we will go over it with Mod, Mod Podge. <laughs> Let that dry really well. You maybe do two coats. I don't know. One or two coats. And then um, hit it with some polyurethane or some something like that, some kind of sealant, uh, you know, take it outside and um, give them a good spray. Uh, I probably would do bottom and top because, you know, if a, really a glass is sitting on here and you know how they sweat and if it goes underneath and gets on this MDF under there, it might mess it up. So I would seal it all the way around, but I like it. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to finish up the other ones and uh, I'll show you some pictures. Um, but anyway, I hope you had a good time. I hope it inspires you. Um, I will leave some information below. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. And until next time, bye for now. Okay, quick side note. If you let it set just a little bit longer than I was letting it set, then it will slide off. Um, it's, you know, you want it pretty wet, but then it will just slide off. like that so I was just kind of being impatient even though it peeled off you know great uh, you probably want to let it sit just a you know another minute and then like I said with it pretty wet then just slide it off gently okay mm -hmm.